The Afenpinscher, also known as the Monkey Terrier, is a terrier-like toy pincher breed of dog. A Afenpinscher is an inquisitive shaggy dog whose trust is almost impossible to earn if you are not its owner. With an unusually strong and jealous character, this funny little man wants only one thing, to be the only pet and four-legged darling in the house. In turn, a Afenpinscher undertakes to hate from the bottom of his heart all the smaller rodent fluffies and also promptly inform the owner that someone two-legged and suspicious has appeared on the doorstep of the apartment. History of the Afenpinscher breed. The homeland of Afenpinschers is considered to be the southern regions of Germany, where monkey-faced dogs were bred as rat catchers. Especially the inhabitants of Lübeck succeeded in this, inhabiting grain barns and stables with many dogs, where they were engaged in the destruction of rodents. It is worth noting that the first Affen were larger than their modern descendants and had a wider palette of colors, which did not prevent them from transforming into a decorative breed and enchanting the European nobility. Moreover, by the 19th century, Affenpinschers had become an expensive and sought-after commodity, which helped German merchants sell them to ignorant foreigners at an incredible price of one thaler for that time. The first intelligible descriptions of the appearance of the breed are found in the 17th century, but images of Affenpinschers appeared even earlier. For example, funny cosmetics can be seen on the canvases of the German engraver Albert Dürer and other artists of the Middle Ages. Since no documents declassifying information about animal genes have survived, the relationship of Affins with other breeds remains unclear. And although the official version says that ape-like pinchers appeared by crossing common pinchers with Asian pug-like dogs, the possibility of an admixture of other bloods in their phenotype is still not excluded. In 1902 the Affenpinschers passed preliminary standardization, and in 1913 they were officially registered in Germany. English Sinological Associations entered the breed into herd books only in 1936, since its representatives were not popular among British breeders. But in the USA, Affins were accepted almost immediately after the presentation. In 1935, a party of shaggy dogs crossed the Atlantic and a year later received recognition from the American Kennel Club. The Second World War caused significant damage to the breed's livestock, so in the 50s the number of dogs in Germany had to be restored from almost zero. Appearance An Affenpinscher generally weighs 6.5 to 13.2 pounds, 2.9 to 6.0 kilograms, and stands 9 to 12 inches, 23 to 30 centimeters, tall at the withers. It has a harsh rough coat when it is not clippered, and if clippered it can be softer and fluffier. It has a notable monkey-like expression, af means monkey in German. Its coat is shaggier over the head and shoulders forming a mane, with a shorter coat over the back and hind quarters. It is harsh and wiry in texture when properly maintained. The FCI and KC breed standard specifies that the coat must be black, but the AKC also allows gray, silver, red, black and tan, and belge, a mixture of red, brown, black and white hairs, other clubs have their own lists of acceptable colors, with black being the preference. The tail is sometimes docked, but in places like Europe, it is illegal. Temperament Affenpinschers have a distinct appearance that some associate with terriers. They are different from terriers, however, in that they are actually part of the group 2, section 1, pinschers and schnauzers in the FCI classification, and so often get along with other dogs and pets. They are active, adventurous, curious, and stubborn, but they are also fun-loving and playful. The breed is confident, lively, affectionate towards family members, and is also very protective of them. This loyal little dog enjoys being with its family. It needs consistent, firm training since them can be quite difficult to housebreak. This type of dog easily becomes bored, so training should be varied. The Affenpinscher has a terrier-like personality. Affenpinschers are somewhat territorial when it comes to their toys and food, so they are not recommended for homes with very small children. This dog is mostly quiet but can become very excited if attacked or threatened and shows no fear toward any aggressor. A Affenpinscher is almost 4 kilograms of self-confidence, alertness and loyalty, packed in a tough shaggy coat. Usually the breed is fixated on its own relationship with the owner and tries to prevent third parties from it. This is expressed in each individual differently. Some Affins do not like children and arrange military battles with babies over toys. Others aggressively bark at strangers who have invaded the apartment, not disdaining to try to punch a hole in the sock of an unknown civilian who has occupied the owner's territory. For pets, a Fenpinscher is also capable of undermining the nervous system. If, in addition to the dog, you also keep a cat at home, try to stroke it in those rare moments when Affin does not see. A mustachioed jealous man will not forgive such a betrayal, and therefore he will certainly develop and put into effect an act of revenge, in which an extremely unenviable role will be assigned to the cat. With hamsters and chinchillas too, everything is not easy. 
do not forget that the ancestors of Afenpenshurs made their careers just on catching and killing rodents, so either keep the fluffies in cages under strict supervision or attach the animals in safe hands until the moment when sharp dog teeth reach them. In communication with the owner, a Fenpenshire puts on the mask of a fine-looking gamer who is ready to do anything to please an older friend. At the same time, the breed does not know how to impose and toady. For example, if you let your pet understand that you are not ready to participate in his projects, Affen will not beg for attention, but will quietly and peacefully step aside and come up with a new entertainment. In addition, Afenpenshurs are avid travelers, ready to accompany a person both in the back seat of a car and in a bicycle basket. Breeders joke that with a breed you can save money on buying car alarms, Affen will not miss a single living soul that comes even a meter closer to the car. Watching the active games of a Fenpenshire and the manic tenacity with which he gets other pets, it begins to seem that the animal is a small ghost with a motor whose energy cannot be tamed. In fact, the dog's activity is easily adjusted. Moreover, for the company with the owner a Fenpenshire is not averse to lying down or being distracted by watching the series. The main thing is that passive rest does not begin to dominate active pastime, Affin will never subscribe to aimless laziness. Education and Training a Fenpenshire is an incredibly charming creature and almost as stubborn and disorganized. It is difficult to imagine, but if you do not engage in raising a pet, then Affin is able to thoroughly spoil the life of the owner and for the company and others. As soon as a tiny cosmetist shows up in the house, start socializing him and accustom him to the fact that in the world, in addition to treats, affection, and games, there are also requirements and prohibitions. Among the first habits that an Fenpenshire puppy should develop is following a daily routine. Immediately after moving out of the kennel, train your dog to come up to eat at a specific time, showing your baby how to take a bowl and how to prepare a meal for him. The ability to take food politely is also not formed immediately. Be sure to teach your puppy not to bounce on you when carrying lunch. Yes, Affin is not a bauble and won't knock him down, but he has enough strength to help to spill the food. Experienced breeders recommend not to be impressed by the toy breed and to treat the Affenpenshire as if in front of you an average dog. There should not be any lisps and tears of affection either, otherwise the dog will quickly figure out how to use this. It is best to practice useful skills in a playful way. A Fenpenscher quickly gets carried away by new activities and just as rapidly loses interest in it, so divide the lesson into short five minutes, between which there are long pauses. It is recommended to select a place for training with a minimum of distractions. For example, it is more convenient to conduct the first lessons in a room, access to which will be closed for other animals and family members. Attempts to train a young Affin in the open air, as a rule, end in failure. Concentrating on the requirements of a person when there are so many seductive smells and sounds around is a task that is impossible for a puppy. It is better to stimulate the animal to further academic success by using positive reinforcement. What exactly will act in this role, a delicacy or a weasel, each owner decides for himself. It is more difficult to form an Affenpenshire system of prohibitions. Instead of treats, you will have to connect light negativity so that the dog learns to catch the connection between your discontent and his own actions. At the same time, sudden attacks of the puppy should be corrected by intonation or by depriving him of communication, but not by shouting and physical influence. In particular, a properly trained Fenpenshire should not grab the guest's legs, tear balls from a person's hands with his teeth, bite his fingers, or wage a war with a vacuum cleaner and attempts to break a hose. You will also have to work hard to develop the skill of using the tray. In order for the puppy to learn the difference between living space and indoor toilet, it is recommended to put the baby in a cage several times during the day. The pet perceives the space limiter as a resting place, so it will not leave puddles in it. After sitting in the enclosure, no more than half an hour, it is recommended to accompany the dog to the litter box. Maintenance and care. An inquisitive and reactive Affenpenshire does not need spacious apartments, an average apartment is enough for him, in which there is enough space for his bowl and couch, as well as for the owner's sofa. The breed also does not require specific adaptations, except perhaps for an indoor aviary, which is necessary for those cases when the puppy will have to be completely alone. But Affen really needs toys, at a young age, for the development and working out of teams, at a mature age, for relaxation. Walked. A Fenpenshire loves walks, and it is cruel to deprive him of this pleasure. It is best to take your pet out in the morning and evening, combining promenades with elements of games and honing sports skills. If you are walking in places where there is a high probability of meeting other dogs, keep your finger on the pulse and do not let your pet off the leash. 
In communicating with fellow tribesmen, Athens behave arrogantly and defiantly, possessing a real talent for unleashing conflicts, so that a leash will help to retire from the battlefield in time and extinguish an impending quarrel. Owners who let a fentpanchers out for a walk in the courtyard of a private house and rely on the prudence of their pets will have to be a little disappointed, noticing the slightest hole in the fence, the Afin will certainly see through it. So either supervise the dog yourself or take care of a reliable frequent fence. Remember also that on hot days the breed suffers from overheating, which is facilitated by the thick coat of a rich dark color. In summer, take a fentpancher outside early in the morning or late in the evening or try to stay in the shade if the heat hits you in the midst of a city walk. Deeding. The main diet of offenpanchers from foreign nurseries is dry and wet industrial feeds of at least super premium class. Natural nutrition for the breed is also not contraindicated, but it will have to be strengthened with purchased vitamins and mineral complexes. Athens menu consists of products that are useful for all dogs, namely, any lean meat, sea fish fillets, kefir and low-fat cottage cheese, quail eggs, once a week. Sometimes you can diversify the diet with cereal cereals, rice and buckwheat, but they should be cooked with the addition of meat. A Fentpanscher Health and Illness With careful handling, a Fentpanscher's can live to be 12 to 14 years old. The list of hereditary diseases that can be found in dogs is small. In addition, with a correct diagnosis, the majority of breed ailments are curable. Most often, Afins suffer from an overabundance of their own activity. Dislocations, fractures, sprains are what most breed owners have to deal with. Found in a Fentpanscher's and heart disease.